We're going to look at a sweep that Andy Murasaki did at the Spider Invitational. This is something that's actually been around for a while. Let's, I'll, I'll get it playing, and you can kind of watch it whilst we, um, whilst I talk. So basically, it's from Delaheva. We, your opponent's usually going to step over your leg into headquarters. You elevate them up. They tend to pull away to avoid single leg X, and you come up into a single leg. Okay. Um, so this is actually a. I'm showing this because it's. I think it's become a really common move, almost a staple of the modern guard play. Um, and you see this heavyweights, guys like Kain and Duarte use this, the lighter weights use this. So it seems to be like an all-round move, and I think almost everyone should be good at this. So just a little bit of background, I'm just going to, actually I'll just show that again. You can just watch. So he's in De La Hiva, gets stepped over towards headquarters. He's going to elevate, retract his leg, and come up into a, a single leg and get the takedown. Okay. Um, and then we'll just have a look. You know, this is something I probably myself first saw when Cabrinha started using this strategy. Um, you'll see an example of that here where he's fighting Cachinho. This one's not exactly the same, but he would do something almost identical to what Murasaki did there, which is, um, if you just watch that again, he would extract his leg from, you see, watch him take his De La Hiva leg out and come up into a single leg. Um, and we also, I did a breakdown of Nicky Ryan's wrestle up. So he's got some excellent wrestling up strategies. And you see he did a no-gi version of this uh, against Dante Leon. So you can see he's in the headquarters, so the leg stepped over. He's going to bring Dante Leon forward, take his left leg out, and come up into well, a single leg into a double leg. Okay, so it's quite a, you know, it's going to work potentially gi and no-gi. Let's break down exactly what happened, and then we'll revisit the footage. So Murasaki here is playing a De La Hiva where you grip the front of the, the pants like this, okay? Um, so one of the advantages of this, you get a tight pull. It's obviously hard grip to, this is an easier grip to strip, right? If Jacob wanted to strip this grip, he, uh, yeah, he might be able to. When I'm gripping this, it's much harder to, to strip. There are ways, but it's more difficult, okay? Another advantage of this is I'm actually, I'm a little bit further back, okay? So when we wanna do the move we're gonna do later, I have more range to take my leg out and through. Okay, you'll see if I come in and I, you know, if I get an overhook here, I have to reach, I have to curl myself in a little more. See, my knee's closer to my chest, so I have a bit less range. You see, it's already a little more awkward bringing my leg in front than when I'm back here, where I've got more range, okay? And then especially, some people do like a deep overhook. Obviously, this again is gonna make it harder to bring the legs through, okay? So there's kind of two major approaches to the Delaheva in the gi, in my opinion anyway. And I, like I've, I've got some instructionals on this on my, on my website. Um, so I kind of break it down into the Delaheva towards the Berambolo. Usually if you're looking for the Berambolo, you're gonna look for these ankle grips and deep hip grips. We're trying to close in on their hips with our upper body as we work towards getting our opponent's hips down to the mat. And when we can bring our opponent's hips down towards the mat, we can start looking to take the back with the Berambola. So this style of De La Hiva tends to fit well with mixing it in with waiter guard and X guard entries, okay? Uh, coming underneath the legs like this, okay? So we're tending to either like spin in or, or outside around our opponent's legs. Then there's a, this, this pant grip style of De La Hiva, which we tend to more use when we're trying to play sit up guard, get to single leg X, or come up into this single leg like we're talking about, okay? So usually when we've got this pant grip, our grip strategy is a little different. We're looking for the sleeve grip. We're trying to kick, sit up, okay? Try to take our opponent down like this into sit up guard and work from there. Or we're working to shoot our legs through into single X. We can even elevate here like we're about to talk about into single X or come up into the, the actual single leg takedown. You can see at the start of this clip, Murasaki's got the pants grip and he's got the sleeve grip. As I said, usually from here we're looking to kick the leg and you'll see him doing this, kicking the leg, trying to usually work into a sit-up guard. This is a great attack from here, which leads into a single leg, just a different method, okay? Now, a very common response to De La Hiva is your opponent's gonna try to step over your leg. He's gonna try and grab my leg yeah, and step over the top into what we call headquarters, okay? The advantage now with this, with my leg in between, 
and I'm on my left, see I'm on my left hip, so it's kind of hard to get up like into a single leg, right? If I could be on my right hip, I can actually come up into a, a single leg, right? But when he steps over into headquarters, that's now difficult. I can't change into something like the Berambolo strategy because it's hard to Berambolo when your foot's stuck in the middle as well, okay? So usually from here, the answer now is to take this collar grip here, and we're gonna use a cross collar grip, uh, sorry, like the far, sorry, far side collar grip as opposed to a, to a cross collar, okay, just turn. So why would we grip here instead of here? To me, it's like, it's about how well I can off balance to this direction, okay? So of course, with, my, with a cross grip, I've got a little bit of a pull, but see how, like if, J if Jacob's trying to come back at me here, it's hard to keep him out, right? Like I can't extend my arm out as straight. If I can just off balance him a little here and I extend my arm, try and come back towards me, okay? See how like the, the angle and the stiff arm I get works directly against him driving back at me. So you'll see in that clip that I showed of Cabrinha, he was reaching for this side collar. Murasaki's doing the same, he's holding this collar. Okay, not this one. You can do this, some people use this one, but I do think this has some slight advantages, okay? So, we're gonna regrip this collar, and we're gonna try to use our legs to elevate our opponent over the top, okay? So I'm basically from here, so stay, stay low. Usually when they get to headquarters, they're trying to smash. I'm pushing and I'm pulling, right? I kick with my knee, I pull with my hand, and then I connect my feet together like this. So both, can, everything's gonna pull in, right? I pull my knees to my chest, I pull with both arms, and I elevate forward like this, right? So at this point, you actually have two options, right? This is one of the reasons why you see this leg come out. I take my leg out, and if he just stays over the top, I get single leg X guard. Okay, this is a really good entry into single leg X guard. Again, I'm not gonna do that from here, right? I wouldn't do this here, because he can like start to smash my legs. He's got good base, he can move around. But when I elevate him, he's floating. This is a nice entry, okay? So that's actually what we should be going for here. Make sure you're actually going for that move first. You'll see Murasaki goes for this, right? But then, of course, the, the correct response when I elevate forward, as I go here, Jacob's gonna try and pull his leg away. He doesn't want me to get single leg X. Now it's hard, right? But by pulling his leg away, he's given me an avenue to get up, right? I can change to my right hip, and I can cut around the corner. I'm stretching, I'm trying to push him down with my right hand, so if he tries to build up, it's hard to posture, right? As I circle behind, and I try to take him down with this. So again, we've got this front of the pants grip. This one's actively pulling. My knee's pushing. I'm actually pushing his knee back as I pull here. It doesn't actually have to be a De La Hiva hook. It can be like this, okay? You can do either, okay? Usually, they're gonna be gripping your leg and you're first trying to like kick, work the sit-up guard, okay? But he's managed to pull back and grab my foot. I grab my foot. You're not gonna step up. Yeah, that's it. Good, okay, I cross my feet. I change to the, the collar grip here and I wanna elevate him forward. Try and take him in this corner, right? So like over my left shoulder, like this. This will make the single legs transition easy. Okay. But as I go for that, he pulls back, I come up, right? and I can drive him down and get on top. All right, so now let's watch that and break it down. So you'll see Murasaki here, he's, we'll have a look at the other side. He's got that pant grip but he's looking for the sleeve and to kick that leg, which is usually an attempt to sit up. You can see he's even, as he's kicking, he's kind of sit up, sitting up, but his opponent's doing a good job here of keeping his head low, which kind of blocks some parts of the, of the sit up, okay? And then he'll work to step over this leg, all right? So he's kind of moving back. He's lo he lost the sleeve grip, okay? So he lost the sleeve grip, his opponent grabs that leg, and steps over. So now we're into a slightly different style of, well, slightly different attack sequence. So before, when you've got this sleeve, we're usually looking to get to sit up guard, or potentially there's some like um, deep De La Hiva options as well. But once they lose that and they step over in particular, now we're looking at this sequence that we were discussing, okay? So you look at the extension. Can you see, uh, it's, I'm trying to emphasize the pressures here that it might not be obvious when you're just watching, but you can, can you see how much, see this, 
this right leg of his opponent is being straightened. He's, Murasaki is actively pushing backwards with this knee this way. He's pushing this direction with the knee and he's pulling, see his elbow open. This one's pulling back heavy. So it's like the ankle's being pulled this way, the knee's being pushed back this way. That straightens the leg. It puts a lot of pressure and it makes it so the person on top tends to want to drive forward to counteract that, which is going to make the elevation easier. Okay. You can't see it now, but that right hand is on the collar, on the far collar. You'll see that when he goes to get up. All right. Then watch this elevation here. There's different way. You don't have to cross your feet. So he didn't, he didn't quite cross his feet, although he did support his left foot. He's got a De La Hiva hook to some degree still. He supported that with the other leg. Sometimes you'll actually go feet crossed underneath as well. Don't go too close to the knee. You still want it kind of under the thigh near the hips. So now that he's elevated, this is his chance now to take this left leg out and go to single leg X and watch his opponent's reaction to remove that leg and pull it away. So as you see he's going here, he's trying to get into single leg X, watch this right leg, pulls back. Okay, so now it's hard, it'll be hard to get single X here. All right. But that space opened up is an easy opportunity now for Murasaki to get up on his right side, get on his right hip, and have a look at that pressure with the outstretched hand. He's trying to push out and down. The Whoever gets up first has a, well, not, I won't say an advantage. The advantage goes to Murasaki because he's got the single leg, but if his opponent can get up faster than him, it will be harder to get the takedown. But keeping that shoulder low, and then actually countered by following through the other direction. But ideally, you keep that shoulder low, um, but he's actually followed through and taking the other way. So we can just have a look again at... Um, Cabrinha's now. This one was slightly different um, in that he kind of off balanced and not to the same degree, but he had room to just get up on his left leg here into like a technical stand up. Here we are. And then he's into a single leg. But very similar setup and sequence. And then the major difference in nogi and why it is harder in nogi is you can't stay attached, like the, the grip on the pants is not really there. Um, so Nikki's kind of made it a different a grip by gripping the leg for a sec, but you can see there's a moment in the Nogi version where he's actually had to let go of the leg, right? Whereas there's no point, at no point was Murasaki having to let go because of the gi. So watch this, he's about to have to let go now, okay? So he's possibly missed it all, but he follows up really well with the double. All right, so we just had a look at the Get up sweep from Andy Murasaki. This is a common sweep. A lot of competitors are using this, so I highly recommend adding this to your arsenal. And make sure you check out some more stuff from Andy Murasaki. He's a really good up and coming competitor. And if you want more stuff from me, you can check out my website, submeta.io.